G'day guys, it's Yumiku39 here. Just a quick little video on the uh, 65 Wolseley 2480 Mark II. I keep making videos, but yet I keep forgetting to upload them because of camera problems or something like that. But anyway, just a little quick video. This is a as found survivor in quotation marks car. Very little done to it besides two minor bodywork repairs. But otherwise it's completely bone stock original as from factory 1965. Runs and drives fairly well, needs a bit of attention to the oh the uh, suspension, it's a little soggy on one side, which could just be one of the uh, dampers, just needs a bit of top up in the oil, yes, because it has refillable dampers, um, and it does tend to overheat a bit, but that could just be a dirty radiator, which will clean it out, but otherwise, pretty solid car for the age anyway, pretty rare, you don't see many of these anymore. Mostly because they weren't very popular back in the 60s because the equivalent Holden at the time was probably better value, same as the equivalent Falcon. So, hence that these are kind of an odd one out. They don't really exist too much. These are what they call the Farina body Austins. Hence, because they were styled by um, Pinion or Pinion Farina himself, actually. Some of the last cars that he did were the Farina body Austins. And this is being, this is the Wolseley, which is the luxury version, but... Hence a pretty nice little car, it's got a bit of one broken tail light, but we've got a replacement for that. Oh, I've got to fix the exhaust hanger, because someone's made a nice one out of some bailing twine, but that's pretty easy to fix. There's only a little bit of rot in it, it's actually not too bad. It's only really just these, there's a lower section here, that's from a bad dent, uh, quarter dent repair. You hear the difference? You can also see the paint colour difference too, just there, the line across there. That's on the back quarter panel, hence why the doors don't quite line up that well on that side. And on the other front, on this side here, old, uh, go on, someone's gone <laughs> with the bog and just painted over it. it. Didn't actually pop the dent out, so it's um peeling back off again. But otherwise, totally original. We already started getting some parts for it, Dad already brought some new wiper heads for it because there actually weren't any when we got it. <laughs> there was no wiper blade left. Nothing you could even call a blade. Oh, and the rear, the front seats need a bit of a tension. They're sort of popped out a bit. Just a little bit, but, you know, nothing too hard, really. All these push button doors, open them up. And on the clocks, we're showing, uh, what have we got on here? Of course, we 52,000 miles, and there's no indication it's actually gone around the clock. So far as we can tell, it's actually their original miles. Dad purchased one new dash clock as well, because they're actually a plastic face in these, actually broken. Someone already ripped the radio out, so there wasn't one. We got given a radio, but it was a realistic branded one, which is a Tandy Corp. Not original, so not in the car. And the vinyl on the dashboard, the uh, veneer, sorry, starting to go a little bad, but... We might see if we can re-veneer the dashboard because it's actually pretty nice. I love a big old horn button on the steering wheel. Three speed, column shift. Though there was indication this car actually wasn't automatic at one stage. And it was a four speed at some stage, but any resemblance to that's long gone. And this seat needs to, it's been sewn back together, but it needs a bit of work. But I love these things like the door handles, interior door handles, and the uh, fast glass, see. That was one turn. Look how far it's gone down. Love fast window handles. And every door has an ashtray. Every door has got... Oh, the, oh sorry, the back one's on the um, seat back, sorry. But yeah, everyone gets their own personal ashtray. That's the 60s for you. Um, yep, and the piste de resistance, you could say, of a 2480 Mark II. Stop by the key cable. So we pop this up. It's actually quite a heavy bonnet. Oh, sorry. It's very bad spearwork camera moment here. Oh, there we go. And this is what makes every the Mark II 2480 compared to the 1660 is that it has a six cylinder in it, not a four cylinder. The fabled Blue Streak 6, which was just a forked version of the four cylinder. But otherwise, it's a very interesting car, very smooth, very fun to drive, M manual everything. But anyway guys, this is just a quick video on the little 2480 Mark II. Hopefully we'll get it restored for summer, considering it is summer, and it'll be a fantastic little summer cruiser. This is Yumi Miku 39 signing out.